EMC and Microsoft have been alliance partners for 15 years, delivering leading business critical applications and cloud solutions. As you may have heard, Microsoft has recently announced a refresh of key components in its cloud solutions, mainly Windows Server and System Center 2012 R2, as well as Windows Azure Pack. The major enhancements made in these three components provides a consistent end-to-end -end experience across on-premise private clouds, hosted private clouds, and the public cloud. EMC is proud to announce that our data protection suite is now offering full support for these environments. The EMC data protection suite includes EMC Avamar, EMC Networker, and EMC Data Protection Advisor, and together these components offer not only comprehensive support in Microsoft Cloud environments, but also the flexibility and agility your organization needs. In this demo, I will walk you through how an end user tenant can create a virtual machine based on a service plan subscription that a cloud administrator would create. And then we'll look at how the EMC data protection suite automatically assigns these newly created VMs to a backup policy. Keep in mind, while I'll be using EMC Networker as a basis for this particular demo, the same workflow and features can also be implemented leveraging EMC Avamar as well. So let's go ahead and dig in. As you can see here, I'm in the Azure Pack admin interface, and I have two plans that I've created, Contoso Gold and Public. If we take a look at Contoso Gold, you can see here um, there are plan services, virtual machine clouds that I have provisioned, which include limits and quotas on compute and storage and networking, for example. If I go into the tenant UI, you can see here I'm logged in as Percy Bowman, an end user who's looking to provision a virtual machine. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go through the process of actually creating a virtual machine. And I'm going to make a standalone virtual machine. I'm going to choose a Windows Server 20, 2008 R2. I'm going to give it a name. In fact, this server is going to be used for link services. So I'm going to call it link server. And then give it a password. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and give a product key or insert the product key here for the specific Windows Server distribution. And there's the product key. We'll go ahead and continue. Now we'll specify the network resources. And off we go creating the virtual machine. So now that we have seen how Windows Azure Pack enables tenants to quickly and easily deploy VMs and applications through an easy to use portal interface, let's take a look at how the EMC Data Protection Suite has applied our newly created virtual machine to a backup and recovery policy. What I'll do is I'll actually go out here to the networker management console and in here you can see I've gone into the Contoso Cloud group, policy group. So this is the actual backup group for all of the virtual machines or systems in the Contoso Cloud. And what I've done here is gone into the client backup configuration and this is on the Hyper-V server itself. And what I wanted to show you guys is that if I specify, I, first of all, I can specify specifically the disk target that I want to use. In this case, we're using EMC protection storage based on EMC data domain. And uh, I specified that here. And we're also using client direct. So what this means is that this technology will actually send the backup data directly from the Hyper-V server over to the data domain without needing to go through the storage node. Once I do that, now I have the ability to actually go through and probe the Hyper-V server to see a live view of all of the virtual machines that are included in that client. And as you can see here, I now have selected to protect all of the uh, VMs that are on that specific Hyper-V server. So not only is it protecting the Hyper-V server itself, 
is protecting the various host components that make up the databases of that Hyper-V server, as well as the actual VM we just created here called Link Server. So I have all of that selected. And because I have this top root level selected, any other virtual machine that a tenant would create that is in this cloud would get added to this policy automatically. So we'll go ahead and wait for the scheduled backups to continue. And once we get a backup of the system, I'll walk you through the recovery process. So now that you've seen how Networker automatically includes virtual machines that are created by the tenants into the backup policies, um, I'm here and I've actually run a backup of that particular backup group, Contoso Cloud. So what I'm going to do here um, is actually show you a specific scenario where if I go into the Hyper-V manager, um, I've actually deleted the virtual machine from Hyper-V. And this would simulate a, a corruption. Um, it could be a partial corruption. Maybe you want to recover the virtual machine back to an earlier point in time, but it's still created. But what I'm going to do here is actually show you that from the tenant's perspective, they see the VM as missing. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a quick recovery. And I'm going to leverage the Networker Module Client UI inside of the uh, Hyper-V server that that virtual machine lives on. And what I'm going to do is actually do a recovery. And you can see here Hyper-V Recover Session. I'm going to do an image recovery. And here's the tree of the Hyper-V server or the Hyper-V environment. So you can see here, here is our virtual machine that we want to recover. I simply select that and do a recover. And once I look at over the default options, I simply want to do a straightforward recovery back to the original location. We go ahead and perform the recovery operation. And in a quick 11 minutes and 43 seconds, our recovery is now complete. I'm now going to go into the Hyper-V manager. You can see that the VM is in a saved state and we'll just go ahead and select from the submenu to start that right back up. And in this demo, you've seen how we were able to automatically add virtual machines that tenants create into the backup policy. But more importantly, this now allows you to be more proactive and recover those virtual machines quickly and easily for those tenants.